Oh, there is a woodman wedding. Chapter One. Hello there. Sunday. Hello, diary. I'm back. It's me, Eva Wingdale. I wonder what fun we're going to have together with this week. I love painting, writing to-do list, the smell of strawberries, my pillow, reading mysteries, the word lollipop, bluebells, my favorite flower, laughing with my friends. I do not love. My brother Humphrey is loves guitar playing. He's good, but he's so noisy. The word swamp. Sue claws on when she spins. Brushing my hair. Rainy nights. The smell of squirrel puffs. Mom's worm cake. Seeing the animal feeling sad. I totally love my family. Here we are on the vacation in Sunday of our foreigner. Dad, Humphrey, me, baby mo, mom. My pet pet Baxter is a part of my family too. He's so sweet, and I love being an owl. Owls do all sorts of cool things, like fly super fast. We stay awake all night. We sleep in the daytime, and we see things really far away with our big eyes. I live at the tree house eleven on Woodpine Avenue in Tripolis. My best friend is Lucy Bigman. Lucy, the lives next door. To, we talk on our the pine phone all the time. Lucy. Lucy has a pet lizard named Rex. Rex is Baxter's best friend. We love the dressing of our pets. Lucy and I go to school together. Here's a photo of our class: Miss Featherbottom, Sue, Kira, Clara, Maxie, Zach, George, me, Lucy, Jacob, Lily, Carlos. It's almost a sunrise. I need to go to sleep. Thank you. Then talk to you the tomorrow diary, chapter two, a mysterious owl. Monday, Miss Featherbottom told us some very exciting news tonight. Tomorrow is pet day. That means you can bring your pets to school with you. How flap, flapperific is that the diary? Can't wait for the everyone to meet Baxter. We drew a picture of our pets. Kira drew the best picture, so she got to ring a bury the bell. We all love ringing the bury the bell. We were the getting ready to fly home when we saw a handsome old man waiting outside for Miss Featherbottom. They stayed. Uh, started smiling at each other, and then they stood wing in wing. We wondered who, who the owl might be. Perhaps he's her brother, or her cousin, or her wing doctor. Maybe he's、uh, giving her dance lesson, or maybe he's her boyfriend. Everyone giggled. Lucy came over to me the tree. My treehouse. After school, we talked about Miss Featherbottom and the mysterious mystery friend. I hope he is the he is her the boyfriend. They look so happy together. They really did. But now we need to stop the chatting, chatting and get on with planning the tomorrow pet day. Should we dress up our pets? Yes, and why don't we decorate the Rex and the Baxter cage too? That's a fantastic idea, Eva. We dress up our pets as kings, and we turn their cage into castle to match their wing king costume. We even decorated their the. 
castle with the sparkly jewels. I can't wait to meet the everyone pet. Pets. Sleep tight, diary. Chapter three. Pet day. Thursday. Today was a happy, fabulous diary. The pets were all cute. Flash. Jackal, the giant snail. General Slither, George's snake. Sid, Jack's sex spider. Steve, Lily's moss. Cliff, Colors, goldfish. Rex, Lucy's lizard. Baxter, Eva's bed. Susan, the wicked son. Sarah's crab. Wilbur, Maxi tree frog. Gumdrop, Tira's a bumblebee. Lady, Sue's tortoise. And guess what? Because Rex and Baxter costume looks so great, Lucy and I go to ring Barry the bell. Bing a ling a ling. At lunch, our class had a pet picnic. We ate the bok burger and fried fries, and we gave our pets a freezer treat: blueberry juice and the sucker. A the Miss Featherbottom had big news to share. The friend you saw me with last night is Mister Plumac. He is my boyfriend, and we are getting married this Saturday. You all invited to the wedding, and because your pets have been so good today, they are invited too. Yay! How exciting! So perfect. Please quiet down. I need to help. Unless all the tradition is something that's not always done. And one wedding, the tradition is that the bride, that's me, has to wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. I already have my something old. Miss Featherbottom took a beautiful necklace out of the stash drawer. It was a super shiny with beautiful jewels. This belongs to my grandmother. It's very old. Now that I need you to help me to come up with the rest of the it. What will, what could I wear for something new, borrowed and blue? We called out ideas. We could help. We could get a new feather coat. You could borrow my shoes, but they might not fit. You could paint your feather blue. Fantastic suggestion. Thank you. Okay, time for the your English lesson. I went to Lucy's house after school. After school, we made wedding dresses from old shirts, and we dressed Rex and Baxter as grooms. But then Sue caught them flew by and said something really mean. You two look ma- more like a crazy ghost at that bar. Birdies, why are you playing the wedding going away? The wedding are so squirrely. This is why the sometimes I call the so mini minister. How could anyone think the weddings are squirrely? So the might not like a wedding, but I love them. Now that I'm go off to bed to dream of my perfect wedding dress, sweet dreams, Terry. Chapter Four, The Secret Wedding Club, Wednesday. I got to school the super early today. I did not want to miss anything Miss Featherbottom said about the wedding, but when I got to class, she looked sad. What's wrong? Nothing really. I'm just worried because Saturday is soon, and there's a lot. To do the for the wedding, I felt sorry for the Miss Featherbottom. I really want to help her. At the recess, we all played the setting. 
wedding. Well, all of it, Sarah Forsu. She wanted to play a jump rope game and got mad when no one wanted to play. My game is much more fun than your stinky wedding game. Then when Minnie Minnison just flew off in a slap. Oh, darling, the dresses! I kept worrying about Miss Bellabottom. Then I had a great idea. I call everyone, everyone over. I'm going to start on the after school the secret wedding planner club. Well, plan wedding the days to the help Miss Bellabottom, who wants to join. Sounds fun. Great idea, Eva. I'm in. I I'll join. Me too. No, thank you. I have more important things to do. After school, our club had our first meeting. We wrote a wedding to-do list. Bake a cake. I want bake a cake. Two, make the decoration. Garland, a balloon, a tablecloth. Three, pick flower for the the banquet. Four, find the band. Next, we all flew to my house, picking flowers as we went. I always pick bluebells. Then we made an awesome cake, and we had a flower fight. I need to wash my feather and get to sleep. There's still so much to do, but we should. Be fine. So long as nothing goes wrong tomorrow, and I'm sure that nothing will go wrong, right? Chapter five. The missing the necklace. Thursday. Disaster. When we got to school, the Miss Bellerbottom looked really sad. Class, I have bad news. My special necklace. She's. Does something old that I had was going to bury at my wedding is missing. The secret wedding planner club held a, 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 a emergency meeting at my tree house after school. Miss Featherbottom seems so scared. What can we do? The best way for us to help her is to add another task to our to-do list. Solve the case of the missing necklace. We became the secret wedding planner of detectives club. I read a lots of mystery books, so I knew that we need to do the three things: dress like detective, ask questions, and look for clues. We put on our detective outfit. Then we flew back to school. Luckily, Miss Featherbottom was still he there. Kira just started asking questions. When did you last see your necklace? I'm not sure. Actually, that I remember having the it in my desk desk on the Thursday because it was a bad day. And remember the general sweater crawling through it. But I can't remember if I saw it after that. Has anything else gone missing? Well, now that I think about it, I could find my silver star sticker or the glitter pen with the moon this morning. Next, we search for clues. Sarah pointed to the Miss Featherbottom's desk. Look at this. Is A scratch mark. Isn't this the the drawer, the、uh, drawer the, where the necklace was kept? Yes, but the necklace isn't in the the classroom anymore. The the and neither the, is the thief. The thief is the thief. Let's go search the forest. No one the paid much attention. To the the scratch, scratch mark. The but I felt like、uh, I had seen them the before. I just had to remember where. 
We searched the forest of her ages. And finally, George saw something. Who's that over there? It's Sue. Look, her bag has something shiny stink,、uh, sticking out of it. And Sue doesn't like wedding. Maybe she took the necklace. We flew the over to Sue. What's in your bag, Sue? None of, none of your business. Did you pick up the Miss Featherbottom necklace? Maybe the my mis by mistake. Do you maybe have it in your bag? I am not a thief, Eva. I didn't take the necklace. Sue looked upset as she blew away. I felt awful. Oh, diary! I guess I said the wrong thing. I was only trying to solve the mystery. The clouds flew back to my house. We couldn't solve the the mystery tonight, but we could work on our the item, item that from the to do list. Carlos and George blew the up balloons. Kira and Sarah picked flowers. Lucy and I made a gar garlands. My brother Humphrey told us we were screwheads, so getting so excited about a wedding. But we all got a lot, lot done, and we had a hoot. We could wait to show the Miss Featherbottom tomorrow. After the other olives left, I asked Lucy about Sue. I don't really see the suit took the necklace. Do you? No, I don't think so. The but,、uh, but why doesn't she say she like weddings? I don't know, Lucy. But I feel bad for asking her if she took the necklace. She looked really upset. Why don't we fly past her house in the morning to say sorry? Great idea, Lucy. Lucy, really, Lucy, the really is the best friend in the whole the owl livers. I promise to the apolog apologize to suit and solve the case tomorrow. Chapter six, mini 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 mystery solved. Friday, Lucy and I flew over to Sue's house before the school. I picked more flower and、uh, on the way, you can never have too many bluebells. But, Dari, you never guess what we saw through the Sue's window. Look at the beautiful wedding dress. He, we knocked on the door. When the Sue answered, she was covered in white silk. It looks like she was wearing a wedding dress. You didn't want to play wedding with us, but you're playing it on your own. You said wedding was squirrely. Oh, I just come in. I'll explain to everything. So she showed us the wedding dress. Well, my mom is fashion designer. She's making Miss Featherbottom's. Dress and I've been helping her. When you saw me in the forest, I was carrying my mom's sequins of strawberry thread. Uh, um, that's why we're here. I wanted to say I'm sorry for the thinking you took the necklace. That's okay. Yeah, we thought maybe you took it because we said we saw something shiny in your bag. And because well, you seemed to not like weddings. I love weddings. I'm even even making Miss Featherbottom a special present. It's just that I've been feeling red, really mad all all week. You see, my mom's been so busy making this dress that I think she's forgotten. Forgotten what? Sue、so、start to cry. I think that she's forgotten that my birthday is on Sunday. Oh no, that's awful! I'm sure she hasn't forgotten. So, is there the anything we can do to cheer you up? 
I'm not sure, but well, maybe I can join your club. Yes, please. We could use all the help that we can get. What's the special the present you're making for Miss Featherbottom? A flower crown, but it's only half done. I won't have time to finish it. I have some bluebells. That can I help? Sue、so, and I made the flower crown while Lucy helps Sue's mom with the dress. The flower crown really looks wonderful, incredible, and so did the dress. Miss Featherbottom, the smile when we got to class. This is a terrific surprise. I cannot believe your club made my cake. A tablecloth, flower, and a girl dance. We didn't show her the flower crown of the balloon, or the balloon. We had to keep some a、uh, surprise for the wedding today. This is all so wonderful, but I still need to find a band and my missing necklace. Poor Miss Featherbottom. At lunch, we had an emergency club meeting. We must find a band and solve the mystery of the missing necklace. But the wedding is tomorrow. We'll need to work fast. Does anyone know where we can find a band? Just then, my brother Humphrey walked over. Hey, Eva, do you need a band? My band, the Hollows, could play if you want. Wow, Huff! That's be amazing. Nothing to notice that. Of course not. Then we winked each other, which worried me. But still, yay! We found a band. We flew to tell Miss Featherbottom the good news. We found our wedding band. Oh, how wonderful! Then our the new ones. A detective took a look around the room. She opened Miss Featherbottom's desk drawer, and the one below the st- a scratch mark. Hey, I ha- I may found have found another clue. Sue used her magnifying glass to take a closer look. Treated gr- treated crabs from the pet picnic. Good ro- good work. So we will get to the bottom of this. After school, the, our club made another list. I love making lists. The case of the missing necklace. What do we know? One, the necklace is shiny and sparkly. Two, the necklace was the last seen on Thursday. Four, Miss Featherbottom's sweater stars is thicker than and glitter. The pants are also missing. There are five. There is a scratch mark above the Miss Featherbottom dust drawer. Six. The necklace is not in the classroom or the forest or Sue's bag. Seven. Where are crumbs inside the drawer? What we need to know. Where is the necklace? Who took it? Diary. The wedding is tomorrow. We must solve the mystery. I'm. Going to think about the clues as I fall asleep. Chapter Seven: A Woodman Wedding. Saturday. Diary. Today is the day. Do you like my dress? Oh, and I think I know the who took the necklace. But I won't say anything yet. We both know that I've been wrong before, and that did. Go well. I need to make sure I'm right before I even tell you my idea. First, I need、uh, to phone Lucy. Hi, Lucy. The wedding is today. Yippee! Hey, I'm bringing Baxter in this in his castle carriage. Are you bringing the rest in this? Yes. Should we dress them up too? Of course. They can't be kings again. Great idea, but Eva, I feel bad when we didn't find the necklace. Guess what? I think I solved the mystery. 
Really? Well, tell me more, Eva. I can't do right now, but you'll know everything soon. Look, Lucy and I flew to the wedding super early to set up. The other club the member then met us there. Everything looks flap, flap, fantastic. But we still haven't found the necklace. Don't worry, Eva thinks the shoe solves the mystery. Yes, I think. Just then, the Miss Bellabottom flew in. Everything there looks so beautiful. Thank you all so much. I just wish I had my necklace. Miss Featherfoot have you seen the Max Ambassador? The pets all looked lovely, Eva. But come look at the Rex with his castle cage. I am rather busy, Eva. Please, Miss Featherbottom. Well, okay. Look closely, everyone. We all looked at the Rex at the castle. My necklace! Rex took it? Oh, I'm so sorry! It's not your fault, dear. The, the important thing is that we found it in time. Well, Eva, the, how did you solve my solve the mystery? Teamwork! The crowds who found Mimi, the, sure, the scene was a pet. The, the scratch marks of Sarah the found made me the think of rest. Whenever the rest played with Baxter, he left the scratch marks all over the tree. I also know the Rex likes shiny things, so I thought he must have taken the necklace, stickers, and glitter pen. All the decorated his castle. Decorated, decorated his castle. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, no. Oh no, I was so worried uh, about my necklace that I, for I forgot my something. You borrowed the or, or blue. I got, don't have any of those things. Sue and I looked at each other that we both had the same idea. We can help you with that. We handed Miss Featherbottom the, the flower crown we had made. It's new, it's blue, and it's you give it back. It's bird too. Well, thank you so much, and it makes me the whole hunting believe happy to see you the two working together. Miss Featherbottom flew off the change into her wedding dress. My dear diary, the, the wedding was the most beautiful wedding I have ever seen. Well, the, it was the only the only wedding I have ever seen, but I can't imagine a lovelier one. Later, we all danced to Humphrey's band. Soon, mom. Sue's mom came over and gave me uh, the Im invitation the, to a surprise birthday party tomorrow for Sue. She didn't forget. I got uh, an invitation. Me too! Hooray! We are the all invited. We danced the day away, diary. Now I must get some sleep. I don't. I can't wait to see Sue's face when she finds out about the surprise tomorrow. Good day. Chapter 8. Surprise. Sunday. Lucy, Kira, and I flew to Sue's house early to help set off the party. Other others were there too. Sue was out having lunch with her dad. We rescued Reese's. We used some balloons from the wedding, and we painted a birthday banner. Sue's treehouse looked beautiful. Soon, we hear the Sue flying up. We hear the jostle as the front door opened. Then, 
We all jumped up. Surprise! Wow, you did forget. Thank you, Mom. Of course, I didn't forget. A happy birthday, darling! And please say thank you to all your friends. They helped set everything up. Thank you, friends. You're welcome. It was fun. Happy birthday, Sue. See, Sue. No one could ever forget you. Thanks, Eva. A wonderful wedding and a surprise party is one week. Wait, wait, phew! This has. Been an amazing week, diary. I can't wait until next week.